Okay, 120 minutes. Number one, I went to meet, and anybody can unmute yourself, no problem. This is just a check-in call today. I'm just came. Uh, we can just talk today, no training call, just a check-in, how things are going. Um, so you can just unmute yourself, be here. I didn't say mute yourself, I mean unmute. You can just talk to me. It's just a conversation today. <clears throat> so um, I went to meet one of my one of my uh, one of my uncles. Actually, not my own blood uncle, um, but one of the friends of my father, who I knew from my birth. He's got his di deathbed right now. He's dying. He has both of his kidneys almost. Um, almost finished, he's no more uh, responding well to his body. So I went to meet him and it was emotional for him me to, <clears throat> they have no son, they have no, they have, they had a son who died out of an accident many years ago. Um, so let me just plug in the headphone. Mahesh, you can hear me all right, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, okay, so, um, He's on his deathbed. Just uh, went to see him. The moment I, you know, entered, he was, um, he was, you know, he, he had a smile on his face, and I remember, you know, just looking at him and just being there with him for a few moments, realizing that he might not be there tomorrow. He might be, he might, but he might not. After that, went uh, to the railway station to drop my fiance off. Met my mother-in-law for the first time there. Oh, be before going there, I was speaking to my. Speaking to, speaking to somebody who wanted to join my program, Confident Man Live Experience, on the way uh, <clears throat> to, the, to the railway station, um, you know, parked, st stood somewhere with a lot of dogs around the lake. Yep, confidence, that's right, I can help. And it was there for about 20 minutes. Uh, his credit card payment went in, went to the railway station, did this while coming home right now. I hear a loud noise. I was, I was, uh, I was traveling home, and I was like, I look back, um, and I see a man just met with an accident. So I turned around, went to him, and blood all over his face, just like 10 minutes ago, guys, after I sent the last audio, and blood all over his face, and everybody's like, somebody should do something. Somebody do, should do something. I went to the store, said, get me a bottle of water, instantly took it, started helping him, looked him in the eye. He was blood all over his face right now. Get people around him. I went to him, gave him the water on his head, like taking, making him bath. And I said, you are all right. You're absolutely all right. And he's like, am I? And I was like, you are all right right now. Sit down, listen to me, sit down and you're gonna be all right. And, and he got, got that thing. Came home right now, speaking to you beautiful people. All this happened in the last 120 minutes. So let me hear from Mahesh. Mahesh, how, life, how is life going after, um, after the last mastermind? Tell me a quick thing. Um, uh, we'll go into a detailed accountability and training call next week. I'm, I'm just thought of it's been about two weeks. We spoke. So I thought, yeah, let me jump in a quick call and speak to you beautiful people. So, um, and, and so what's going on? Uh, how are you implementing what you learned? Give me some update. Uh, things are going well uh, at this moment. Uh, yes, because of uh, this uh, uh, financial end, we have a lot of mm -hmm. job in our offices. So, I'm getting late from the office nowadays, this yeah. last uh, 10 days. So actually, yeah, I'm I... not able to refresh the things uh, which I learned there. And last okay. uh, seven days, I little, I feeling some miss, uh, not getting enough time. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yes. totally. The office, I'm doing well. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, there is season, right? There is season of harvesting, there is season of <clears throat> reaping. So this is your season of, you know, more more of a focused work at the office, which is totally understandable. And I totally understand that. Let me come to Abhishek. Abhishek, what's going on, my man? Tell me what's going on. I wish I'll, Give me some uh, updates. Yeah, you know, so things <sighs> have been, you know, uh, it's been a mixed bag, you know, so I have bad days, I have good days, I have better days, I have awesome days. Uh, you know, uh, often, <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to life. Months, after the mastermind, after the last mastermind event, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I've been trying to implement whatever you know I have learned there. I've been doing my uh, king of the mind process. I'm trying to be more present in you know uh, mm -hmm. all the moment. I've been doing design layering, and you know uh, it is working wonders. You know, like you know, uh, uh, <laughs> a moment I'm stressed, I do that, and the next moment I'm you know feeling awesome. You know, my, yeah. and you know. Uh, I have, you know, like my, uh, uh, I would say, 
uh, value at work has improved. You know, I've been productive. I mean, you know, it's been uh, much, much more than the entire year in this yeah. in days. Uh, so yeah, this uh, is awesome, man. You know, so yeah, I remember you telling me about. I remember. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I remember you telling me about desire layering, and I think you told mm-hmm. me you're doing it every day. Is that right? Yes, you know, I do it twice every single day. Whenever you know I feel stuck or I feel <laughs> stressed, I do it, and it just works wonder. Yeah, this is man. For those of you who have uh, were not there in the last mastermind on fourth March, desire layering is a specific journaling technique. Prema, don't worry, I'll teach you when I when we meet, meet next. Specific journal, um, you know, it like takes like what, like one minute maximum, like three minutes to do this. But it's so fun. Uh, most people make journaling so hard. They think I gotta just write about my entire life's history today and my inner feeling and my spirituality. And this is like so fun thing, like creative thing that you can do. So that's what I'm speaking about. I wish I interrupted you. Did you have anything else to say before I move on? No, I think pretty much that. You know, uh, I'm also facing some challenges which I can discuss on the next call. That's not a problem. But then yeah. overall, cool. uh, you know, I feel very powerful, very authoritative, yeah. and <clears throat> yes, you know, things are looking up for me. This is amazing, yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely. Not just before during the next call, before the next call, I will send a quick little message to everybody asking about the challenges that you're facing. So when we do speak next, it's going to be more focused on on handling those specific situations. Um, this is awesome. Let me come to let me come to Prema. Prema, what's going on? I know uh, there was a situation with Sri Hari for which you couldn't come to the mastermind and forth, but tell me what's going on in Prema's world. Yeah, it's very nice. Sir is also very good. He's uh, he's back to his normal health, and I'm also doing very good. And focus on others is still continuing. That is working wonder uh, in my official life and personal life too. With in handling my son, uh, he's happy, and I'm also very happy. I'm listening to others by focusing others. I'm listening to them. I am listening to them, so my opinion. I am ob- I am able to give my opinion also in a subtle way, in a cool and composed way. Earlier, I was uh, I was throwing my opinion. Yeah. Uh, by focusing on others, I am able to give the op my opinion, but still in a uh, uh, subtle way, which is acceptable and it is uh, working wonder. Yesterday, I talked to Bharti. Uh, she briefed me on uh, March fourth. Uh, uh, this also. And yeah. decision matrix also she told me mm-hmm. yeah it was good i think i missed a good opportunity yeah the main thing yeah. is we played basketball for the first time like whoo! okay and yeah, and, yeah. i and saw the video the he beat me yeah i saw the video it. nice so oh, good that bas- basketball <laughs> monster <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh, Premal, when you say let me ask you a question when you say that i'm telling my opinion but more subtly now rather than pushing the opinion on people. Do you see any shift in terms of acceptability? Meaning, do you think people are accepting your opinion more than ever before? I mean, are they more open to your opinion ever than ever before? I'd like to know that. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Because earlier, uh, my opinion, it was in the force of, uh, you know, uh, with anger. Yeah. It was, it, was a, it was not in a cool and subtle way, calm way. Now, by yeah. focusing others, I am focusing on others and I am focusing them uh, in the same way I am giving my opinion. I am putting forth my opinion. It was not the forceful view. My opinion, I, earlier I was forcing my view. Now yeah. I am giving my opinion. Yeah, this is beautiful. And I, I'll tell you from my perspective what is happening right now, uh, Pema. Okay. Okay. I'm so done. I think what is happening now, then more than ever before, Prema, is previously, and it might, might, might or might not apply to you, but I'm telling from my perspective and my experience what generally happens. Many times we become aggressive about our opinion because right. we, we need people to agree with us because we know we are right. And that's an awesome place to be, but that also brings a lot of, you know, subtle neediness that I need you to agree. It's like, and for that, I'll, I'll just push forward. Now, what, what has started happening since September when we first came to the Confident Live Experience, uh, Confident Expert Live Experience, and when we joined the Rulio Life Mastermind, in the process, not a specific thing, but a process, what, what you are implementing, 
based on that your need for that you got to accept what i'm saying is subtly very subtly is going away so it's kind of like i got to give you my opinion but i don't care if you accept it because it's my opinion and i know my opinion is right for me and for, so the more the approval um very subtle and we all have that the more the approval seeking nature goes away the more power you have now you don't fear the disapproval of your opinion now you become much more free and much more peaceful in giving that opinion so do you think that is happening to you i'd love to know your opinion on that shema exactly exactly earlier i used to expect that my they have to necessarily accept what i am saying because i am right this was uh, my expectation and throwing my opinion now that is uh, you know that has gone away on its own as you're saying it's a process in the process that has gone on uh, on its own i did not try consciously uh, to uh, you know uh, evade that kind of expectation it has gone on its own it is simple that i have to give my opinion because i am right uh, and it is accepted and they are appreciating and i am very happy about this uh, improvement which was very much required and i am you know earlier because of my forceful uh, 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 giving the opinion people used to you know uh, look at me differently uh, why she is you know arrogant or adamant or uh, uh, that kind of uh, uh, approach towards me which is totally yeah. gone which is totally yeah. gone now they say uh, uh, Mo, uh, that's why I said no. Uh, I gain lot of respect thereby. Mm -hmm. It's an a, a, it's an incidental uh, uh, thing. That's very nice. Focusing on others. This is the only thing which you yeah. said. I uh, adopted, and by products are more. Many by products yeah, I could get. The beautiful thing about this frame and it applies to everybody is, um, and we'll talk you know in details next week when we have a detailed call. um but when when you this started see the the source of the problem see the, you th you thought the problem was why people are why am i a little aggressive or why am i too on the face when giving the opinion that's not the real problem that was the symptom of the problem the real problem was you at one point at at a very core level you wanted <clears throat> no resistance from others when you spoke and you wanted everybody uh, you know the others to accept you uh, every point that you said so when we dealt with that very subtly and you dealt with that yourself um through this process what has started happening is now um you have let go is the main thing mm -hmm. you know the the harder you try sometimes like think about sleeping the harder you try to sleep the worse your sleep is going to be when you let go like i don't care let me just relax that's when the sleep starts happening bharat can relate to that and i'll i'll tell you why i'm giving this specific example but you know sometimes it doesn't it happen like you got to wake up tomorrow morning and uh, you you think oh my god i got to sleep now and and i got to sleep now because so that if it's 11 i got to wake up at 6 so i have 7 hours of, and you do the counting and then sleep doesn't come at all because you're trying to sleep at that time and you think it's 11:10 it's 11:15 it's 11:30 now i have 6 and a half hours left and the more you go like that the harder it becomes to sleep because sometimes all you have to do is let go and then and that's a process you know it's an energetic process and then it happens so i'm so happy to know about your progress tema um awesome 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 thing let me come to let me come to uh, the wonderful bharati bharati give me some update of what's happening in bharati's world the progress is by the way before i before you speak i on my desk right here i got your um, i got your card that you sent if you can see can you see this Yes, yes, Mr. Bhushan. Yeah. So this is the one that that Bharati sent me just a few weeks ago. Uh, thank you for the gift. I also have the journal that you sent. It's I think somewhere here. Um, this is let me just see. This is the this is the journal that you sent. I started writing on that recently. Um, so this is like I was I was doing a little case study of some of the one-on-one -on -one clients that I have and their progresses. and so beautiful uh, gift thank you i appreciate and admire that but to give me some update what's happening in your world and how you're making the progress yeah mr bishal my world is like uh, i am living more in present this is what the uh, improvement is after the mastermind call when i am making my daughter study i am there uh, there not thinking about anything else when i'm doing something i'm doing that that's it uh, there is no other thing that is running in my mind that is the major difference i can tell and uh, regarding the uh, 
uh, love languages which we spoke on that day regarding the act of service i was like more attracted towards it after coming forcefully made my husband do that survey and uh, ah. forcefully i have done the survey and i showed that this is my love language you have to uh, do something for this so uh, <laughs> scolding internally bishal uh, he is helping me because my love language is uh, act of service i always want him to yeah. help me something uh, so this is what a major uh, difference and uh, so this is making me very happy actually because uh, he is helping me i i always expect that from him uh, not forcefully but he i want him to do uh, voluntarily mm. which yeah, makes me can't do if he doesn't know pardon <clears throat> i was saying that he can't do what he doesn't know so when you make him aware of this is my love language this is yes, how i'd yes. like to speak now it's easy for him you are you are helping him to help you yes. basically helping like yes. hey this is how i'd like to be treated as a human being and also this is an awesome thing that you spoke about because many times as human beings you can you can relate to that um we think you know this is like this is awesome honestly this is good but we think if i just love this human being which is my kid my my spouse my mom my dad whoever you think if i just love them from my heart this is enough it's not it's it, not it's exact uh, sorry it's exactly what happened till now like uh, he feels that why i want to show why do i need to uh, do something uh, it's yeah. it's uh, it's taken for granted like so this yeah. is exactly what was happening right so like i i love you know why and i i hear this sometimes i a lot especially the people that i mentor one on one it's it's kind of confidential so i can't tell their name but um many times i hear this like um i don't and i'm going to tell a specific word like the wording that i hear <clears throat> i don't have the spark that we had 5 years ago okay i don't have the spark that i had or sometimes it's like the way we used to have fun um we don't have that now it's more like formality when we go to a restaurant or even at the home it's more like a routine what happened to all that well what happened is you started focusing more on you i tell them and instead of understanding what they want as an individual um, you are giving them what you want as an individual it's like uh, mahesh likes chocolate and i'm giving him butterscotch <clears throat> and mahesh thinks I don't like butterscotch, but I'll say no, no. You must like butterscotch because I like butterscotch, right? And then my friends say, but I don't like butterscotch. But how can you not? It's so tasty. The same in the relationship. Many times people uh, do this and that, and something, some things don't matter to me, um, and and it's it's amazing. So, what's the number one um, or what, top two love languages uh, for for your husband, Parthi? For him, it is a word of appreciation. Mm-hmm. And okay. uh, I think quality Sorry. time. Yeah, and for you, it's act of service and gift, gifts. People here listen. <laughs> <laughs> so this is awesome. This is beautiful. Uh, awesome. What one specific before I move on to the next person by applying what you learn? Um, definitely, you told me you feel more present right now, which is something that most people don't. have that right most people are taking shower and they're thinking the the dinner they're having dinner and then thinking something else so you're present now and it's going to increase more as you do this and i'm going to show you more uh, specific tools and techniques but in your relationship with your husband and with your daughter um what one specific small or big doesn't matter the size what small specific improvement or big specific improvement do you see in how you are connecting with them by applying the love language and the rapid relationship technique that you want uh, uh two things uh one thing uh, uh, we got a clarity like each each one has their own love language in that uh, session and as abhishek was saying on that day uh, you were asking like what would be your daughters because since both of us are working uh, it would be quality of time uh in a moment of second even that was same for me also even my daughter was struggling with that always she expects us to spend time with her uh, which may not be possible always so i'm consciously doing that now spending quality time with her uh, soon after coming from office i'm making sure that at least 15 to 20 minutes i sit and spend with her which i was not doing earlier this is really making a lot of difference for her she's happy now uh, because of which uh, we are also happy 
and uh, the other thing uh, as i said forcefully i made my husband uh, uh, realize that this is my love language and he is doing that i am very happy for that uh, i i i see uh, there is uh, more happiness mm -hmm. happiness we can, feel, where? we can we can feel that uh, difference especially with my daughter i can feel the difference and uh, with respect to there was no specific time that we used to sit and spend uh, before since i know that quality time was what she was demanding or requiring now i'm consciously doing that she's more happy for that nice. and this uh, lifestyle positioning which we were taught on that day i have used it in the office uh, as i was telling i'll use it during the lunch time so i was uh, telling my team that i like uh, uh, giving gifts and uh, 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 like as usual I, i like cooking everybody knows that because i uh, frequently prepare something and uh, make trials on them so they are also a part of that uh, experiments so that everybody knows and uh, gifting i was telling them and everybody was happy like when are we going to receive that gifts because you you we all know you so when are we going to uh, get from you so that was the question i was getting so yeah. it 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 is overall uh, good this is awesome this is pretty awesome and I, if i remember correctly bharati if you see those of you who are in the september event prema um who else was there uh, abhishek was there um i don't remember who else was there from the september event um but there was this moment when um you brought some halwa for everybody on day 1 or day 2 yes. right day 3 yes last why. day let's see here is why the yeah, one who wanted to give badam yeah badam here is why yeah he wanted to give but two reasons now if you see that's a gift for everybody right it's a specific yes. value gift gift doesn't mean it has to be something that you buy a gift is sometimes the food that you give and it requires the act of service of making which are two of your love languages that you see very carefully very subtly now like oh yeah that's right so you well, give yourself the love you give yourself the love in the process of creating the gift with the act of service and that became a gift for others can you see that now how it's all yes related? wow great interpretation <laughs> absolutely awesome awesome yes. bharati good to know yes. let me go to is that is that rajesh or i i can see a name iphone raj i don't know who that is Is that uh, yeah, that's using? me. Yeah, that's Rajesh. me. Rajesh, can you hear me? Uh, I can, I can. So tell me what's going on yeah, in Rajesh uh, Mahapatra world. It it disconnected me when I typed Rajesh first time, so I, I was lazy to <laughs> just added. I just added <laughs> to the right. iPhone. <laughs> yeah. So wow. um, tell me what's going on. Yeah, the problem is anything. Yeah, my, after listening to Varthi, I'm I'm also thinking I'll I'll ask my wife to uh, take that uh, test. So far, I was yeah. uh, sort of <laughs> not having that courage to ask her. So um, coming back, <laughs> so coming back to um, uh, from the mastermind, uh, you know, in the last day, I was saying that my biggest takeaways were uh, from the hot seat. Um, Communicating. Yeah, I got That's three what? three inputs. Yes, I got three inputs. Uh, one from you to read up on the first break all the rules. So um, yep. I have a hard copy with me, but I was I'm not getting time much to read, and I'm a little bit hooked up on do audible. So I also yeah. bought a audio book for first break all the rules, and mm -hmm. I'm already halfway through it now. So uh, almost at the midpoint. in the last uh, couple of weeks nice uh, so, so hey are, so are you more of an audio learner rajesh is that your preference i actually uh, used to i used to be crazy about reading meaning okay i didn't know about audio i mean i couldn't have neither afford or i didn't even have those audio books earlier so in my childhood yeah. i used to read i used to read a lot Uh, but once I, I I see that I can hear to these books in the car and in, uh, when I am walking in the morning, uh, mm -hmm. now I do more of it. So I actually have finished uh, nine books from the time we started. 
from the time we talked about the audio books from that time onwards i've uh, already finished nine books and this nice. uh, first break all the rules is the one which i recently am on it uh, yeah. so a lot of learnings as a manager what you should be doing and i've already started making sure that the the things that they call as base camp are taken care of and then they say about this appreciation and thing that i'm already consciously doing it um also nagesh and satish uh, gave me a couple more points and uh, even though i was uh, very consciously reading up a lot of papers i took the papers and stuff like that for uh, for building up my technical skills uh mm-hmm. after i came back from uh, uh, that meeting i also signed up for a uh, a course on a very on a deep learning course the one which i've been working on for a while in parallel so um, yeah course on what i, I just need the word what what course is that it's called deep learning deep deep learning, learning. Okay. yeah mm-hmm. this is artificial intelligence uh, technology right yeah um, so uh, i'm learning on that and uh, one effect i'm already seeing it is uh, uh, because of um, learning this technology because of applying those managerial things the basic things that is there in uh, first break all the rules book um, and also to some extent because of some skip level meeting i had on satish input um yeah my contribution for the team I and mean, in the the main thing i was looking for was to add value uh, for the team for for, for everybody in my team so i i you know i don't know whether the others see it but i can see that um, the value i'm bringing to the team has gone up um, i have worked out a training thing for everyone in my team now mm-hmm. so um so uh, this is something i was working on but I, after i came back from it i just put a lot of focus on that very intentional so i am completely is... so this is uh, i mean the two things one is that stating customers problem or stating others problem gives you that power so i i have that in my mind always in all the presentations but i'm doing i'm trying to make sure that i work yeah. on it consciously and these are uh, these are some very good improvements about uh, it's amazing what one hour 45 minutes every day when you are on one of those courses how it can change the way you apply um your thoughts in the job so that's working very well so the hot seat awesome. uh, thing was uh, very well for us yeah yeah and i think uh, so those of you who were there and it's a new line it's new for some and review for others that what the line that rajesh is talking about is uh bharat rec- recognize the line it's new for some and review for others <laughs> yes yeah yeah so what rajesh is talking about is the concept that i talk about about connection and it it, it relates it was it's, it's not said by me i don't even know who said it somebody said it i took it my mentor said it to me so i'll say it's, it's said by jesse elder um when you can articulate somebody's problem better they can articulate to themselves they automatically and subconsciously give you the authority to fix it it's worth going back and listening to what i said right now i'll say it one more time by the way we'll have access to the recording when you can articulate or communicate somebody's problem better than they can communicate to themselves at that time they automatically and subconsciously give you the authority to fix it meaning manish has a problem and he knows the problem but he doesn't know exactly how to say that problem like, what is that and i say that better than he can say to himself about his problem and at that time manish will give me the authority to fix it without even knowing who i am without knowing anything about me so that applies everywhere so many times i tell them that if you want to really influence your ceo the senior manager or your immediate boss i don't know who's from somebody there i think from your side rajesh if you can 
with a lot of background noise. Just for one second, if you want to mute yourself. Yeah, cool. Um, so a lot of people say, how do I impress uh, my senior managers and this and that? You can do a lot. You can see a lot. But if you can understand, because at the end of the day, they are a husband or a wife or a mother or a sister or a brother or a son, right? They are like human being with problems. So when you can connect with them, with you, you can instead of just talking about this is who I am and here is why I need a promotion. If you can communicate their problem, the problem that the senior manager is facing in his life, in his career, um, or as a manager, the worry that he has. Like if you just go to the presentation and say, I know the problem that you have as a manager. I know that you have somebody to report to and I know that you can only report well if we perform well. And every single month you have this botheration in your mind. Are we going to perform well or not this month? And at that time, the senior manager is like, how do you know all that? Right? Because that's when they give you the authority to have a deep level of connection. So Rajesh, awesome learning. It's good that you're also learning so much. I will, I was, the reason I was asking you about the audio is because I was actually, I am planning to send you the psycho cybernetics book to your home. Would you prefer in audio format? Would you prefer in physical paperback format? Um, now I am listening a lot into audible so audio book. Yeah. I can send it to you today in that case. I can just give you the access. I'll, 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 I'll message you after the call. So I think it, it's going to be very, very beneficial. Plus the, the version that I have is an expanded version uh, spoken by Dan Kennedy. So it's not just the book, but like an additional commentary, which is very, very valuable. Um, so uh, Dan Kennedy is the person who bought the rights to the book later on in 1997 or somewhere. Um, so yeah, this is awesome, Rajesh. Thank you so much for sharing today. Yeah, thank you, Rishan. Awesome. Let me go to Dr. Shiv Kumar. Dr. Shiv, are you there? Uh, hi, Bishal. Uh, so, unfortunately, I was not available for the last two masterminds due to a lot of personal reasons. But, yeah. uh, like, wh whatever I learned in my, like, earlier masterminds, like, uh, I've been following it. I've been following the uh, the 50 minute uh, planner i've been following uh, the thing like designating roles and uh, uh, responsibilities to others so i've been following a lot of the things which i've learned from the previous mastermind programs and particularly mm -hmm. last one one and a half months like uh, was very much tied up with a lot of work at school like uh, even now i i had an annual day uh, function to attend in one of our campuses in salem and i'm on my way to my hometown uh, so, yeah. so uh, this is a time when admissions happen, and this is a time when uh, so a lot of recruitments happen, and all the uh, year-end programs happen at this particular point of time. So, last couple of months, I've been like actually uh, busy with all those kind of things. Though I, I, uh, I, uh, I was not the only person who was working for it, but uh, uh, there, there were certain areas where I had to intervene and make some decisions. So, uh, pretty tied up with it, but. Uh, what I am doing, I am just doing with uh, what I learned in my uh, earlier mastermind programs and I have been following it also. And that is making my job much more easier. And I seriously miss the learnings of the last two programs and uh, particularly what Bharati told, like the, the love, uh, uh, the it's thing language. which, uh, uh, what is it, Bisha? Love? <clears throat> love language. It's speaking a love language. Of love. Yeah, yeah, that's something which I, when I heard Bharati speaking, like uh, uh, her husband understanding her priorities and love, and that's something which I have to seriously work on because earlier I had uh, some issues with my health, so I was more focused on it. Now it's more on work, so I, I, I seriously have to introspect and like uh, talk to my wife uh, about this love language and maybe understand her, and maybe I, I also want her to understand me, so. That is something which I, I think I badly need at this particular point of time. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about it last time very detailed. And we will revisit that in the next next one when we do. I think it's in June or July. Uh, so sure. Prima, uh, we got you. And by the way, it's not just when I say love language. It's not about just your spouse. It's, uh, you know, Bharati will tell you. She said okay. it's about connecting with your daughter, your kids, anybody. You can actually find okay. out um, what they want. And, and give it to them. Like it's, it's, it's a huge level of communication that most people don't know about. Um, so anyways, uh, good to know. Uh, good to know about your progress and everything. We'll come uh, and I'll, I'll see you soon next week on, sure, the, on sure. the call as well. Thank you sure, so much. Sure. Let me come to the uh, 
let me go to Bharat. Bharat, if you can just, uh, so this is the first time Bharat is being on a call like this. He came to the Confident Man live experience uh, last weekend. It was just like five days ago uh, we finished up. So Bharat, before we move on in the event itself, what's the biggest progress? Just so everybody knows the context. Mm. Your confidence level, your speaking. I remember the first time you spoke on day one, and like day three, um, you spoke so, so longer and so confidently. Why, why don't you tell us about your biggest improvement in the event? Uh, before and after, and then we move move forward with that. First day, I think uh, I was so scared, and uh, so I spoke with a rush uh, to finish uh, the presentation. And I think I did not have my chain of thoughts also. So second yeah. day was actually much better, where it was much more structured and I, I much more connected with the audience. And the third day, I was trying to make it uh, much more as a natural conversation. So yeah. compared to first day, I see third day was a big improvement. And the second mm -hmm. day was also better. Uh, after that, yeah, we spoke yesterday. And uh, I've been uh, looking at the videos right now. Yeah. <clears throat> so right. there are some so, training yeah. in Bharat. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So uh, Bharat joined Rulio Life Mastermind. There are some specific information specific learnings that he wants to have that is confidential between him and I, you will learn the process and you will know that we got it. But uh, majorly in the areas of um, more professional growth, more bonding better in the family that everybody here wants to have. Um, mm -hmm. And also in the area to have more visibility in the workplace as well. In case you did not know, Bharat actually is very passionate badminton player as well, apart from Apart from wildlife uh, exploration, taking photos, like I have a photo, I'll just show you in a minute of him. Um, but uh, yeah, so he he does all of that. Um, so just to give you an idea, Prema is a banker. She works uh, in out of Chennai. Her son actually went to the school, Indian public school, which actually Dr. Shiv is the managing director of. So small world. Um, Mahesh is based out of uh, Maharashtra. Uh, he came to the event first time in April. Uh, since there, since then, he also joined the Rulio Life Mastermind. He's a part of it here, and he's uh, he's an awesome human being. He's been so peaceful. He is. His daughter actually went to Symbiosis uh, College for mass communication studies last year. And um, I remember, I remember when when your daughter came, Mahesh, you planned some amazing, you know, ice cream thing and taking her out and amazing quality moments with her. So that was amazing. By the way, Prema's number one motivation in life is her son Sri Hari, who's also uh, appearing in for his exams has appeared or is or, or is appearing Prima? no he's preparing preparing he's right preparing preparing right. yeah yeah uh, so bharati is an amazing individual by the way for those of you before i go to bharati so let me just show you this so this check this out <laughs> i found this photo online See, that's not a gun. That's like a camera. Think about that. This is Bharat, by the way, guys. So any, don't mess up with him. He's going to shoot you. Uh, so no. Anyways, I just, I have everybody's photos, you know, some forms of fashion or form. So anyways, so Bharat is a great individual, works for a pharmaceutical company. Um, Abhishek is a banker, uh, works for a Yes Bank in, uh, in Mumbai. Uh, Dr. Shiv, I spoke about him. He... Um, He's based out of, I think, Erode. And Dr. Shiv, you are in Erode, right? In, Com in Coimbatore? No, and Vishal, I, I move between Erode and Coimbatore, Vishal. Like, oh, yes. some, some days okay. at Erode and some days at Bangalore. Yeah. Cool. And Rajesh is, is uh, right here in Bangalore. Amazing individual. Again, him, Mahesh, uh, Nagesh all came to the same event April last year, but then he they enrolled. But, Again, I wanted to connect with you all. Uh, some people couldn't join the call today. So here is an assignment for you today for until next week. It's a small one, but it's a deep one. And I'll give you an example. This is um, the, by the way, Akash is coming my home next week. What day is today? Um, like my hometown is coming here to meet me for two days on 27th, Tuesday. Damn, that's a date night. I, Okay, I'll tell him to come next day. Uh, anyways, he's coming to meet me for two days. Akash, we met Akash. He's coming down here in West Bengal to meet me at my hometown for two days. Um, going to be spending some awesome time. He's going to be staying at my home. And here's why I say that. Okay, personal relationship. Without that, 
things become really, really dark many times. Personal relationship is not just about your wife, just your kids. That's all fine, but the bonding in the personal relationship. So this is an important lesson for everybody before we move on today. This is a physical card, like a thick one that was sent to me um, by Akash's family a few months back when his brother was getting married, Arjun and Siksha. And here's why I say this lesson. And this is a very important lesson for all of you. See, when I get this, right, in the career and it's packed up with some gifts and stuff, and I open this up, now I got to see this. Now I'm touching this, right? It's a physical thing. I'm touching this. What happens when I touch this and open this? It's like, oh, I tore it apart or what? Okay. So anyways, it, it creates an emotional bonding when I'm opening it. And I have, I'm thinking about the person when I'm opening it. That's how human mind works. But in today's world, it's easier to take a photo of it and WhatsApp it. That's what many people do. You're invited. WhatsApp photo. You're invited. That's all good. But, but when you create personal bonding with people like this, it's going to take a little effort, right? It's, it's easier to send a WhatsApp message of a, photo, of a card versus sending a card itself to the home. They sent it to a few thousand people. Uh, and I was talking to him uh, about this thing. Anyways, here's the message for you. There are some people in your life right now that you meet, okay? But the connection sometimes is missing. So in the next five minutes, you're about to pick up a tool, specific, very simple thing that you can do, like right now after the call, to regain the bonding in the relationship. And it's generally people outside your immediate family. You can do it in the family itself, but outside the people that you wanna connect more, that is honest appreciation, honest admiration. How I do that is I just take my phone. I'm actually speaking from my phone right now. There was, I would show a live example. I take my phone, uh, okay, on WhatsApp. And instead of typing a message, there is like this small little audio recording button on WhatsApp. You saw that, right, on WhatsApp generally. I, I record it and I send a quick recording message. Hey, Mahesh. And just a quick words of appreciation, what I like about him. Like, honestly, like there is, this, there is no agenda, nothing. You're just sending message from the heart. It's like a gratitude that you're sending to that person. And I do that every single day to a few people. Sometimes it's a message, sometimes it's an audio, sometimes it's a video. I send sometimes videos to people saying, hey, it was great, it was that. And by doing that, Bharat, I think, received one from Akash, right? At the end of the event, I sent a gratitude video. Bharat, let me ask you a question, Bharat, because when was the last time before this, somebody in a professional world sent you a personalized video appreciating you nobody how did nobody. you feel when you got the video from akash like my video akash shot it on the phone how did you feel when you watched that it was a very personalized uh, image i felt very warm after watching that yeah and it's human nature if somebody sends me i'll yeah. feel warm as well so yeah. so here's my challenge for everybody here's my lovely challenge for everybody until next week send five either audios or videos like quick to people that you admire and here's what i want you to say it should be less than 60 seconds or two minutes otherwise it becomes a little blah 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 after that um so don't make it too long it's going to be something like let's say this is my phone i i don't have the phone this is my phone let's say this is my phone so i take my phone and say hello hey let's say this is an audio i click the audio button and this is like hey Nagesh, I just want to quickly appreciate everything that you're doing as a recruitment specialist. I know you're part of Rural Life Mastermind since last year, and I, and I see big progress in how you're thinking. I know you received a big uh, client. You told me about it in last, last month, and I see major progress in the way you're journaling, the way you're being more present in your mind. Man, I appreciate you, but one of the things I like more about you, Nagesh, is your constant improvement mentality that many people don't have. Many people learn something and just move on, but you implement it and that's something that I really like. Anyways, Nagesh, want to see you in the next call. This call you are not there uh, for because you are stuck in something else and for the internet connection, but I'll see you soon. I really appreciate you, Nagesh. I know you're busy. No need to reply to this, but I'll see you soon. And boom, I just leave that message. By the way, Nagesh, if you're watching the replay, same message for you right now even. And you do that. You do that for five people. And I'd love to know uh, quickly, like five second quick answer. Prema, if you just do it for five friends that you have not been connected with for a long time, okay, five friends, what do you think 
will be the difference uh, in the next one week. You send one message to five friends that you have not connected for a long time, but you really love and appreciate them. You send this quick audio or video to them. What will happen? The rebonding. Rebonding right. will, which will be very effective. That's right. Rebonding. Oh, Mahesh, what do you feel? Yeah, Prema, go on. I, I interrupted you, Prema. Go on. Yeah, both of us will, uh, bo uh, both the sides will be, uh, will feel uh, very glad and happy That's of right. the reconnection. Because imagine this for a second before I come to uh, uh, Mahesh. When I record the message, Nagesh feels good, right? When he hears this. But after the message, who else feels good? Because I spoke good things at that time about the person. I found good things. I start feeling good. Like, that's me. Yeah, Mahesh, go on. Yes, Vishal. That's, that's, that's like uh, a feeling of uh, uh, miss togetherness uh, with the people. That makes uh, happiness uh, with enjoyment also. Absolutely. Will you, will you do that for five people by next time you speak, Mahesh? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Before sleeping, I, I will, I try, I will, I plan for two people at least. I will, today, before sleeping, I will give this message. So you will say this two people already today? No, today, today, I will say now, after this call. Awesome, awesome. Bharati, what do you think? Uh, what if you do it for five people, what's going to happen? It would be definitely amazing. And usually I do this at the office, like recently we had one session. Um, it is, uh, I think, respected workplace session and some other session where after finishing the session, when I met the um, uh, trainer who was uh, uh, giving us training, I just uh, told her two words of appreciation. It was really amazing and we enjoyed the session. And from that day, whenever I see her, uh, it's like with very warmness, she, uh, she wishes me. Uh, yeah. And she feels like uh, somewhere we got connected with that one word of appreciation. It really works wonders if, if we really do this. I strongly and, believe in this. And if you do it right now, what I want you to do, Bharati, I want you to find five people that you have not connected with in the last 60 days. Right? Uh, because it's very easy for us to look for people who are already ahead of us. And like, yeah, I can send a piece. Now, let's, yes. let's talk about people that that you know are in your life, they have done something for you or you have done something for them, but, but you haven't connected for whatever reason for the last 60 days. Now it's like a rebonding in that relationship. Make sense? Yes, 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 truly. Perfect. And I would Perfect. like to add one more thing. Uh, sure. Go yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, in last uh, Thursday or Wednesday, uh, there was a guy in our team. Uh, one sec, one sec. T take the headphone a little ahead from, I mean, a little away from your mouth. It's too close, too loud. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. And there was one member from my team, like she was, uh, she has left my team uh, after I have joined, a few months after I have joined. I know her. There was a moment where uh, she's really good. She's really very good uh, with respect to her technical knowledge and with respect to her performance and everything. I have a lot of respect for her. There, but there was a moment when everybody was praising her. Uh, I, feel, uh, I felt a little bit jealous. The moment yeah. I also start, started praising her, like, uh, yes, she is really good. And uh, I, I respect her a lot. Uh, the, the feeling of jealous uh, will immediately go. So I, I thought like uh, this is one tip, like whenever we are feeling jealous of someone, we also start adding uh, appreciation word to that. Mm, it definitely uh, will take away, take out from that, from us. A small yeah, message. And I, and I appreciate you owning that up because many times we all many times feel jealous, but many times we don't want to acknowledge that. We don't want to say that. No, why, how can I say that? I think you did that right now. So I appreciate that, Bharati, that you caught yourself, you had the awareness to catch yourself with the jealousy and you took an action to, to bury that by giving appreciation to that person. This is amazing. Truly appreciate yes. that. Thank you. Awesome. Thank let, me, you. let me come Thank to Abhishek. You. Abhishek, if you do it for five people, you're welcome, Bharati. Do it for five people. What's going to be different? How do you like the idea? You know, the... Uh... I hear sounds very exciting, you know, I think it's going to open the communication doors, which were yeah. closed. And, you know, I think uh, I could use this tool to give words to my gratitude. So it's going to benefit me yeah. as well. And that's what, you know, is important for me at this point of time. And obviously, you know, it's, it's going to make them feel 
good also good as well yeah yeah a quick tip for everybody i'll i'll, I'll go to rajesh but yeah maybe just one sec one i mean i started to interrupt but one thing that you should not do in this quick appreciation message is say by the way blah blah i mean don't ever ask anything at that time in return in the meeting you will like hey let me send you this tip blah 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 this is good but by the way can you do this for me uh, then it becomes kind of like oh because you wanted that you're giving me appreciation um so you always want to remember this always give without agenda give without agenda um when you do that it's it's beautiful abhishek did i i did cut you off um uh, what please go on what you wanted to say no i was just saying you know that uh, you know uh, it's a new kind of a thing which i have never tried so you know, it's going to be a new experience for me as well uh, so that's right i think it's going to be exciting you'll do it for five people and we'll speak next yes i will perfect rajesh what do you think how do you like the idea yeah it's, it's a very good idea but my uh, friends knowing me will be shocked i'm sure if they if they get something <laughs> like like that the same rajesh like you know what happened to you did you all right <laughs> no no i i i i so they so they call back saying if i'm all right has anything happened yeah. to me did your phone get stolen man right <laughs> <laughs> no i know when you do it for the first time so i'm like imagine going to you anybody just imagine going to your father if you have and say you know i appreciate this in you immediately they'll say what do you want right like <laughs> because because sometimes we are not accustomed to receiving that appreciation from others we think the only time somebody should give us appreciation is when somebody needs something right um i mean like just imagine when you go to buy like a car or something they always appreciate oh you work here awesome the moment the moment you sign the agreement make make the payment after that time the person doesn't care for you anymore most times because their appreciation for you was very much connected to the transaction something that they wanted so um, when we understand that we can understand about other person so thank you for sharing rajesh let me come to dr shiv um How do you like the idea about sending these five appreciation messages uh, next week, Doctor Shiv? Uh, Bishal, uh, I, I think it's a it's a really great idea. But uh, the one thing is, I I'm definitely going to do it for uh, five of my friends. I've already listed down the names to whom uh, I should do. And uh, another thing is, like I, I I always feel shy to do this because like after yeah. I do the recording messages, they'll call me and they'll pull my legs. So. uh so that's going to happen anyway so but uh, yeah. it's quite interesting bishal i just want to see their reaction so i definitely yeah. like doing that yeah yeah and it's very natural for them to call you or like hey what happened why did you send this right because 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 their current reality is not about they don't get much of these messages generally think about that i mean some yes. of you get happy 24/7 um once in month or once in two months and i send sometimes like a like a note right i write something and send it to you um mm -hmm. like handwritten many people don't receive that but when you start receiving that they start it starts opening so i'll just say dr shiv do it once and see how it goes for you and slowly sure. gradually you will you will be very natural in doing this make sense different 100% i'll do that bishar yeah boom this is awesome bharat uh, how do you like the idea who are the five people that you have thought about i mean have you thought about five people already yeah i thought about some three four people so these would have been the people whom with whom i would have in the same college or in the same office earlier i would yeah. have shared uh, you know a lot of time with them but because yeah. now they are at a distance uh, they are really out of context uh, for them also yeah. for me also i think uh, any uh, so this would be a very good thing where they will feel that when they hear my voice uh, they will feel very very good and i would also feel very good and probably they'll call me back and yeah uh, it will be you, like reopening of the connection that, that's right do you think it will not only reopening do you think it will create a better bonding in the relationship i mean you left it let's say one year ago or two years ago you did not spoke to speak to them anymore do you think it yeah. will like oh wow i i look forward to talking to him bharat more do you think that, that will happen absolutely i think that will happen yes so we will cool. exchange 
This is awesome. So here's the thing. Next time we speak in a longer call, an accountability accelerator call on to 25th March. Uh, write this down so that there is no last minute thing. <clears throat> 25th March, 11 a.m. Go on for about 90 minutes to two hours. You can get it. Um, and and we go on individual accountability and question answer on that call. Today's call was more like a check-in. I'll also send the recording out to everybody in the group. Um, so that is all about it. Let me just show you something, okay? I just put it on just like a month ago. I bought this, let me just show you one second. Um, switch camera. Yep, this is a painting that I, that I uh, purchased a, a while ago. Um, let me just show you from the, there's this light behind me. So there you go, there's light in my hand. That's why it's the reflection a little, yeah, it's good. So this is a picture of Kolkata. Um, that's somebody, it's, it's, an origin, it's not a photo, it's like a painting in this um, uh, thing. And it's, it was done by an artist um, and um, his art, his signature is there, but you can see, but, and this is like something that I'm creating for some of my higher level clients who I work with one-on-one. -on -one. So these are the three E's of communication that I teach. The first one is called engage, entertain, and educate. By the way, this is something that you all can use all the time. Remember, anytime you're speaking, you don't want to just, most people go into this, educate, meaning information, information, this and that and this and that. But first you want to engage. There are many ways to do that. Some, just a few of them we already talked about in the Confident Man Life experience, but the basics. But we go much more in depth later on. Then we want to entertain. Why entertain? Pretty simple. We live in this generation. Um, there's a lot of noise coming. I think from Rajesh's background, if you could just mute yourself, Rajesh, that would be awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, you want to entertain. So you think about how can you bring more entertainment into your, into your talk. Entertaining doesn't mean that you're making people laugh. You're showing them. You remember, guys, um, you know, those of you who attended the last event, we spoke about the authority messaging, and one of them was lifestyle, Mahesh, right? Um, the lifestyle, in the lifestyle, what you do is you are showing people a part of you, your personality. So entertain is one of them. So when you, whenever you show somebody a part of you, Bharati, People get entertained. Um, Rajesh, again, same thing with you. You, you want to provide some value for them in terms of entertainment. The final level is education. This is where you teach them or tell them about information, update anything. So this is something. By the way, this is what I want everybody's life to look like. You know, you and your happy family. In many ways, it doesn't have to be that you have your spouse always with you or your kids always with you, but it starts with a happy you first. It's you or you and then other people around you. And this all creates like a whole different level of transformation. But um, this is the love one that I spoke about in the love language, but there is, you know, six human needs. We'll speak more about it like next week, probably. But uh, just wanted to show you, this is what I see every single morning. Um, and this is what I've, I've been playing recently. My guitar. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, composing some songs for my own. In case you did not know, Nagesh knows about it. Uh, but I actually recorded a song for an album for me uh, in 2007 or 2009, somewhere. So anyways, pretty cool um, to speak to all of you. I will speak to you again on, I think the date I said is 25th March, 11 a.m. It's going to be a full-blown accountability call. Bring your best questions. But I will uh, also ask you at that time, who are the five people that you send the messages to and how was your experience? Who called back? Who called you crazy? Who called you thankful? Who was emotional? Uh, you'll see some people who are like, oh my God, nobody gave me ever appreciation like this. So start doing it. And I'll speak to you soon. Good night, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Boom. <laughs>